And that warmer weather we felt uh, late through the afternoon today and into the evening, we hear is not going away just yet. Scott Padgett, bring us up to speed. <laughs> That's right, Doug. We're going to be warm again by October standards. Today we had the cloud cover in place this morning. Then as we went through the, out the afternoon hours, that cloud cover broke up, giving us mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Because of that, we saw a warm day and now also a mild night holding on for us. So 88 was the high today from the 88 degree high temperature. We have temperatures now in the upper 70s to the low 80s, which is about where we're supposed to be for this time of the year for our high temperatures. We're in the low 70s in McKinney to about 75 in Terrell. So overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, our temperatures are going to be mild again, down into the upper 60s to the low 70s. We have uh, some moisture being pulled up from central Texas, and as that's going to be pulled up, our cloud cover will increase overnight. So tomorrow morning, we'll see some clouds in parts of north Texas. Our southeast counties may be a little bit of fog around. That will all burn off by the time we go into the 1 to 2 o'clock time frame. Low 80s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies on the way. Temperatures back into the mid to the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon. Palmer count, it's in the low category today, tomorrow, but going up on Thursday to that medium category, ragweed, fungus, cedar, and juniper, the main pollen in the air. Now, Thursday, I do expect to see partly cloudy skies. This is ahead of the next cold front that is on the way. This front will start to slide through North Texas in the morning hours on Friday, near the Metroplex late morning to near midday, slide its way then down to the south and east, and as it does so, maybe some rain with this. This forecast model a bit aggressive with the rain, but our temperatures will fall through the day on Friday. Then we go to Sunday. We're warming back up again, upper 60s, upper 50s to the low 60s by the time we start out the day. Then going to Sunday afternoon, upper 70s. By Monday night, near midnight, we have the next cold front moving through. By the time we wake up on Monday, we're going to be seeing temperatures in the mid 50s, then even colder air on the way if this holds true by Monday afternoon in the low 50s. Let's take a look real fast at that seven day forecast to show you we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping through the day on Monday and Tuesday. Rain chances sitting at 50 to 60 percent. So a cold rain on the way going into next week. Do you want to point out uh, one year ago this time here was the tornado path as we have been talking about through the day today touching down near 35 E near Walnut Hill tracking its way near Preston Hollow up through uh, the Richardson area pushing its way closer towards Saxe and from Google Earth you're able to see yes it was 15.76 miles winds of 140 miles per hour just real quickly want to show you that before you couldn't see the scar but then after the scar on the earth remaining and something Doug that we're not going to forget for quite some time. We never do. Scott, thank you so much.